What is going on? It is Donnie Shoots, the life of Poe, and today I want to talk to you guys about the story I have to tell. So, I have an X100V. I had it for about two years now, and I bought it in March of 2021, in the early stages. So, back when I bought this camera, the XE4 just recently came out, and nobody had it. Or no. Some places didn't have it, but you know, me being a young photographer, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try Fujifilm. I, I hear some good things about it, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll go to Best Buy and see if they have it. So I went to one in Union, New Jersey. You guys are not gonna know where Union is. It's about like 30 minutes up north from me. They didn't have it. And then I went to another place, they didn't have it. And then they told me, check the Best Buy in American Dream Mall. Now, American Dream Mall is a whole different animal if I want to talk about it. It's just so beautiful. It's a modern mall that is just, oh my gosh, I love that mall. But I went to American Dream Mall in search of an XE4 and they didn't have it. And I was like, dang, okay, they don't have it. They're like, oh, we got the X100Vs. They had like a bunch of them. So I'm like, well, whatever, I'll just buy an X100V. So I bought an X100V. And then I paid retail for it. So it was like after taxes, like $1,500, something like that. It was like $1,500, i would say. And honestly, I love this camera. I, I love it. I literally, I probably use it once a week at least. I love this camera, bro. Like, I can't tell you how much this camera means to me. Like, this was the first camera that I bought with my own money. Like, the first real camera I got was a gift from my dad. It was a Nikon D3400. Actually, I have it in my chair. I'm about to grab it now. So this is my first camera that I ever got from my dad. Well, just in general. And it's it's a, it means a lot to me. Like, this camera, I, I'd never sell it. You would have to take it out of my hands, like, dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, th this camera means so much to me because it made me really get into photography. Like, before I had this camera, this was my camera. This was my daily carry, my regular camera. Like I carried this camera everywhere. I paid like 150 for it. It has 20 megapixels, which is pretty good. But I haven't turned this camera on in like years, actually. I got it in 2015. I walked to Walmart to go get it. And Walmart, that Walmart's now closed. They opened up a super one near it. And dang, that camera. That was a long time ago, man. But the X100V, I love it. I don't regret it. It was really an accident. I didn't mean to buy this camera. And it was just sitting there. And now looking back at that, everyone wants it. It's sold out. People are buying this camera for $2,000, $3,000? Like, what? Like, first of all, that, that's obscene because $3,000 for X100V, when you can get the X-T5, which is what? 15 or 17 I think by itself so 17 by itself better sensor and then you can just buy a 23 pancake lens either from arts artisans or you can buy it from Fujifilm itself and it's still cheaper than three thousand dollars so why would you why would you spend three thousand dollars on this camera oh the compact factor when you can just get an xt5 and it's a little bigger slightly bigger but if you have a jacket pocket just put it in your jacket pocket but anywho this camera is worth it for retail, in my opinion. I love this camera. I love it. Like, I literally have it on my hip. I have like 8,000 clicks with this camera. I took some amazing work with this camera, man. And I recommend it to a friend. I do not regret 9 out of 10. Autofocus is it. <laughs> it's a 9 out of 10, though. Oh, man. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You're the best. I appreciate you. Thank you.